The Bible says, let us make man and let him have dominion. And the Bible says, and God blessed man. God blessed man. The word there for blessed is the word barak. Is the word barak. That word means is to touch. The word means is to what? Is to touch. So when God baraks you, it means God touches you. And when God touches you, then God releases the potential that is in you. So let me explain what a curse is. The Bible says that Jesus saw a fig tree and he cursed the fig tree. And what did he tell the fig tree? No man eats fruit of thee. No man. So the curse was, Jesus cursed the fig tree. He says, no man shall eat your fruit. So if you're cursed as a, as a woman, if you're cursed to be a wife, no man will eat your wife's fruit. Oh boy. You know, hear with me. He said, he cursed. He said, when Jesus cursed the fig tree, he said, because to curse is to stop the, product, the production of fruit. He said, no man shall eat fruit of thee. And it dried up. Sakanus. Ha. So, the word, now, so, now, you don't understand this. So, the word bless is to cause to multiply. It's to cause to expand. It's to cause to produce. So he said he blessed man. The word there is the word Barak. Jesus. So God came and he touched man. So he physically touched Adam. And when he touched Adam, he was what? Barak. The Bible says after Noah came out of the, out of the ark, the Bible says, and the Lord Barak him. Hey, that means he touched him to produce the fruit. Then there's another word for it where it says in Proverbs chapter 10 verse 22. It says, the blessings of the Lord make it rich and added no sorrow to it. The word there is baraka. That one is the speaking of words like in a benediction. So the words that are spoken, they actually release the blessing. So you can either have a barak or a baraka. So, baraka is when words have been released. Now, witchcraft operates the same way. Hi. God, you see, now, when God cursed Adam, he didn't touch him. He spoke. When Jesus cursed the fig tree, he spoke. So, there are, Jesus, so there are, Martha, these are, I'm seeing again the spirit. There are, Lord Fediba, these are, so there are times when witches, warlocks, enchanters, observers of times, when there's no way they can release a spell against you except they use what? Words. And the words that they release are to curse, is to cause your food. To no man to eat your food. You can have a degree. No man will eat it. And then, there are times now when they realize that the words are not enough. We have to come physically. And that's when you see witches appear in your room. And they touch you. That's when you say, I was lying down and I felt a demon touch me. That's now, he's, that, that's the demonic form of Barak. Because it's the touching you for impartation. Right now, right now, if I be a prophet, right now, every person under the sound of my voice, that a demon has appeared because what happened to you a deep, the witches appeared in your hospital. And what they did, they touched. Kizahas. They touched. That is now the second one. Hey, that's when you say, Dr. Thomas, I felt something hold my leg. Well, what's happened is Baraka in the demonic. Because it is. So, 
Now, what you see me ministry right now, when you say I'm prophesying and I'm releasing, in the, in the service, I do baraka and I do barak. Hey, Sadara Bozo say, oh, I do baraka with words. Oh, like what I did with her is what? Barak, 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 shiga, barak. 